In our previous video, we looked at precipitate reactions, forming an insoluble compound. Now we're going to look at another kind of subcategory of double replacement reaction, is that is acid-base neutralization reactions. So we have an acid reacting with a base, and that's going to be neutralized to form water and a salt. Okay, so we have uh, this idea of what, what is an acid, what is a base, and that's going to form water. Okay, so if, when we're looking at defining what an acid is and what a base is, we're going to use the Arrhenius definition. Okay, the Arrhenius definition says that an acid is something that produces the hydronium ion in water, whereas a base is something that produces the hydroxide ion in water. So for example, let's say we have HCl. Well, when HCl is in water, it's going to react with that water and undergo an ionization reaction to give us H3O plus and the chloride ion. Okay, so now we see this, we define HCl as an acid. It's forming H3O plus. Now maybe we have something like sodium hydroxide, so NaOH. Well, when that's dissolved and added into water, it dissociates, undergoes a dissociation reaction to give us the sodium ion and the hydroxide ion. So again, base forms a hydroxide ion, acid forms the hydronium, H3O plus ion. Now let's say, rather than just having acid in water or sodium hydroxide in water, let's say we have those two solutions and we mix them together. Well, what reaction is going to happen? We're going to have our HCl, our acid, hydrochloric acid, and to that, the other solution we're adding to that is our sodium hydroxide. Okay, so this is just like our other examples of a double replacement reaction. We're going to switch ion partners. So chlorine combines with sodium, H plus combines with hydroxide. Okay, well, when we have sodium combining with our chlorine, we get sodium chloride, which we would see is soluble, so we classify that as aqueous. Then we have H plus combining with OH. Now if we just kept that like cation with anion, we would write that as HOH. Okay, but we know HOH is actually, right, H2O, water. And our water is in the liquid state, right? It's, dissol it's not dissolved in anything, it's just adding to the water that was already there in our solution. So now we see we have our acid reacting with our base, and that's going to form this sodium chloride, that is what we call salt. Salt is an ionic compound that's formed from the neutralization of an acid with a base. And then we would get water here as well. So now we see for an acid-base neutralization reaction, the driving force is the formation of that new compound, water, that wasn't there present before in these individual um, compounds that we had of our acid, hydrochloric acid, and our base, sodium hydroxide. In our previous video, we looked at precipitates being the driving force. Water is the driving force in this reaction. In our next video, we're going to look at, well, what happens if we have a reaction happen and the driving force is that we're actually forming something in a different physical state in a gas. So go ahead and join me in that next video. We're going to look at that specific subcategory of double replacement reactions.